Hi, I'm Tara Stiles, and today on The Yoga Solution, I'm going to show you four great moves that you can do to release tension in your wrists. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you can do is real easy, come onto your hands and knees. Whenever you're doing yoga, you always want to make sure your fingers are spread nice and wide, just like you're at the beach digging into some wet sand here. So that'll prevent a lot of wrist pain also when you're practicing. And just go ahead and shift your weight into your left hand, turn your right hand all the way around so the fingers are facing toward you and your palm is down to the ground. So depending on how your wrists feel, this may be already a whole lot going on here. If there's not a whole lot going on already, real gently start to roll around a bit, maybe in one direction, see what's going on that way, and then same thing to the other side. Nice and simple here. You never want to push or force anything, just breathing a lot. And when you're ready, unweight your wrist, switch your weight into your left hand, replace the right hand, and same thing on the other side, just turning your fingers all the way outside. And again, nice and simple, both wrists may be a whole lot different depending on how you spent your day. <laughs> so just go easy here. And when you're ready, again, unweight your wrist on the other side and bring your palms all the way back down to the ground. Next one, this is a really great stretch for the top side of your wrist here. So making tight fists with your hands, bring the tops of your hands on the ground, right on your mat here. Elbows come out to the sides. Start to bend your arms and start to straighten your arms here only as much as you can, keeping a tight fist. So don't worry about straightening the arms all the way, especially if your hands come undone. Keeping the tight fist will really get that stretch all the way up the backs of the wrists. And of course, breathing a whole lot. The more you breathe, the more opens up. And a couple more times just like that, bending the elbows and nice and simply starting to straighten your arms out a little bit. So the moment you start to lose that grip of your hands, keep it nice and tight there. And one more time just like that, bending the elbows, breathing a whole lot. This is also good to do if you arrive at your yoga class 10, 15 minutes early to sit around, do this on your mat. You're bound to make friends. Everybody asking you what that does for you and everybody will be feeling really great. <laughs> so the next one to do is a nice wrist strengthener here. And fingers spread nice and wide. You wanna have the tops of your fingers and your knuckles all the way on the ground, all 10 of them. And just start to lower and lift your palms of your hands 10 times. So this may not feel like a whole lot the first four or five times, and then once you get going up to seven, eight, nine, or 10, you might start to feel a whole lot of stuff happening all the way up your arms there into the wrists. And then once you've done your 10, same thing, just with the hands a little bit out a bit here. So just to keep everything nice and even and easy, 10 times like that, nice and smooth. And once you've done your 10 there, same thing, but turned in a little bit. So just rotating the wrist slightly to make sure everything is worked evenly. keeping your whole fingers and knuckles on the ground. And once you've done that, you may feel a little bit of fatigue in the wrist, so give yourself a breather. Maybe have your hands on your thighs, palms can face up or down. Just breathe a little while here. Watch any sensations as they come and go. And then last little bit, we're just gonna come up to an easy standing forward bend. This will feel really nice. You can even do this whenever you're in a usual standing forward bend. Just stepping on your hands here, so the tops of your hands come on the ground, toes up to the insides of your wrist. You can bend your knees as much as you need to step on your hands, so no need to lock the knees straight if that's not happening here. And just let the head go, let your neck go, maybe even sway a little side to side. And then another way you can do this here is spinning your hands out to your side. So this feels really nice, stepping on the palms of your hands. The tops of your hands are right there. Toes can squish into your wrists here, like you're squishing into some mud or a nice summer day. It feels really good massage on your wrists here. Let the head go again. And once you had enough of that, releasing all the way out of that one, keeping your head in it nice and relaxed, roll up one easy vertebra at a time. No rush at all till you're all the way up to stand nice and tall. So hopefully those four moves really help to relieve a lot of tension in your wrists and leave you feeling great. I'm Tara Stiles, and I'll see you next time on The Yoga Solution. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you have a problem or a question, let me know. You can leave a video response or a comment and I'll help you find The Yoga Solution. See ya.